Greetings, BUSN 1360 Software Apps for Business. Welcome to the 2022 semester of this online course. I'm your instructor, Dr. McGrory, and I'm looking forward to a really great class. I wanted to reach out to you as we begin the semester to talk about those things that are going to be important to you as we begin. So what am I talking about? Your book. You obviously want to know about those materials that you're going to need for the class. I want to give you a big picture of the points or assignments you're going to have throughout the semester. I want to really emphasize something new this semester with my IT lab. So we're going to talk about that in your registration process. And I want to make you aware of the details and kind of the important benefits to you uh, of, you know, in your assignments that are outlined in the syllabus. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. What I want to do is bring up the syllabus. Now, this will be an attachment to the email that I send you. You will also always be able to find this information in our course in pause. So syllabus at the top, course name, contact information, course description, the learning objectives. Let's get right to it with the book. What do we need? And I love when you see required text and then immediately the words good news. That's good news, right? So good news for you. Let's just read this together. It says you already have access to your My IT Lab digital ebook. So you have already purchased it and your My IT Lab ass assignments because you purchased this access at a volume discount rate when you enrolled in the class. So although you may opt out by contacting the bookstore, it's not recommended. You right now as you enrolled in the class, unless you specifically took steps to opt out, you have the materials that you need to begin successfully on day one. And so that's a good thing. Um, you can opt in or opt out during the first few days of class. Um, after this time period, then that volume discount rate will no longer be available. You won't be able to opt in or out anymore. So you have right now, unless you specifically took steps to opt out, you have the materials that you need. Now, what are those materials? Well, it's my lab IT. I tend to refer to it as My IT Lab because the website is myitlab.com, right? They have changed this over the years, they, Pearson, and they have started to call it My Lab IT, okay? So they call this My Lab IT for exploring Microsoft Office 2019, and we're going to talk about that. So you see that. It says our class is required to have that digital access. And the reason for that is because your assignments are integrated in with your ebook. Okay, so there's kind of a, a coherency there that if you had some kind of print book, you would not be able to do the assignments uh, that are required. So you do have an option. I explain this down here. After your digital access, you know, you're into the My IT Lab website. If you want to purchase a print book at that time, you can. Most students find the ebook to be just fine. Okay, it's searchable, it has a lot of benefits to it. Uh, but if you need that in addition, you can certainly do that. Okay, let me go back up here. Um, it says our class is required to have the digital access to the ebook and integrated assignments, including quizzes, simulators. You know, like, you know, you think of airplane simulators and, all, you know, these games that you play. Well, we have simulators that help to teach our software and we have something called grader projects. And we're going to talk about all these. Now, here are some cautions. You must register using your Southwest email address and you must use your first name and last name as they appear on the official Southwest roster. When you log into My Southwest and you look in the upper right corner and you see your name, when you're in My IT Lab, that's the name that needs to be there. Okay, and there's a number of reasons for that, but that's very, very important. Uh, it, it, so that you don't become inactivated, so that your account is not inactive. Um, there's a number of reasons. Okay, now this is for more details on the registration process. Um, I've given you uh, some instructions in pause, and I'm gonna talk about this in a separate video. So it says for more details on the registration process, log into pause, click into our course, click content, then getting started. I'm gonna show you all this in a separate video and open your My IT Lab 
registration instructions. Okay, so very important video that I'm going to do separately. Now, I've told you that you can purchase a, a print book. Most students do not find that necessary, uh, but it's there if, if you want that. Um, and then I do give you a caution. Let me scroll up a little more. <clears throat> it says, caution, rentals will not work, not even a digital rental. Um, they do not provide access to the assignments. So, you know, getting the correct materials is very important, and you already have that when you enrolled in the course. Uh, printed books by themselves will not provide the access to the assignments that you need, all right? So just be aware of that. Now, the second thing we're already moving into here, the second, oops, I'm sorry. Yeah, the second thing that we said that we were gonna talk about is the points, kind of this big picture. What are the, the points that I'm going to earn? What am I gonna be doing? Well, this particular summary becomes a lot more important at the end of the semester because you're starting to say at that point, how many points have I earned? How many points were there total? Right. Um, but right now, I want to just show you, show you very briefly, as soon as we start this semester, there are going to be some attendance quizzes. This is actually only true for the first three weeks of class, but the first one is due right away. So when you log in to pause, you're going to take this attendance quiz. Okay, you're also, and you know, and what's the importance of that? It's how I take role so that I can report to the college this student is out there and they're working and they have committed to you know be in this class this semester so in the online environment this is especially important and easy peasy points for you okay very easy point you will never have an easier quiz i promise so you don't want to miss any of these your pause dis uh, discussion introduction so you're also going to post an introduction you are a business professional. I am a business professional. The other students in the class are business professionals. In any meeting, we begin by introducing ourselves. And so this is an opportunity for you to do that, to kind of virtually shake hands with the other people in the class and to say hello. I suspect, and oftentimes in this class, uh, students have met each other in uh, other classes that you've taken together, and if so, that's great. And, and I kind of love that sense of community about our class. Uh, what else are you going to do in these first few days of class? So the significance of these first three assignments is that they're going to be due very quickly. You're going to create your My IT Lab username. Now notice you're getting points, five points for the first attendance quiz, five points for your introduction, and five points for creating your My IT Lab username by the due date and in accordance to the rules, right? What are the rules? Southwest email address, use your first name and last name as they appear on the official Southwest roster. All right, now we have some other assignments that you're gonna be interested in. We have some chapter quizzes. We have those simulators, the simulations that I mentioned. We have these greater projects. We're gonna talk about all these things. We have something called capstone projects. And you may already be familiar with the SLO or the student learning objectives test. And so, you know, details about all these things are a little further down. So in fact, when we think about, you know, what are we talking about today? Well, book, we talked about that. You've already purchased it. You have what you need. Another video is forthcoming. Points, kind of that uh, bird's eye look into the points that you're going to earn. Critical My IT Lab Note and detailed explanation of the assignments. Now, let me briefly uh, mention the uh, critical My IT Lab Note. I am going to do a, a, another video so that you understand what to expect with my IT lab. But what you need to know right now is that uh, there's been a little change in the process. In past semesters, Pearson would give your instructor uh, the code uh, for payment to the materials. OK, so you enrolled in the class. You, as part of that enrollment, purchased your materials. They would give me the code. I would then in turn give you the code so that when you created your account in my IT lab, you had the code. So easy. Such a great process. Well, they've changed that process just a little bit. Instead of me giving you the code, I don't have the code. Uh, I, I don't have it. 
instead of me giving you the code, they are going to send you an email. Now the email, and I have all this explained in a handout, is going to come from um, actually the Follett Bookstore, but under the name um, Bright Wave Red Shelf. So you'll hear those two words, Bright Wave Red Shelf. And in that email, there's going to be instructions for you to register to get your ebook. Okay, <clears throat> that's great and all. We'll talk about that. You'll go through and you'll register into Brightwave Red Shelf. And when you create your account or register, you know, you following the steps that they're going to send you in this email that's going to come to your Southwest email. When you follow those steps, that's when they're going to give you the code, the payment code for My IT Lab. Okay, so you're going to copy that code, and then as a separate step, you're going to create your username into My IT Lab, and you'll pay with that code. Now, if it sounds complicated, I, I regret that it's not as straightforward as it used to be. I, I, um, I respect what they're doing, which is they're trying to kind of tighten the, the controls a little bit, um, and, and so that's okay. All it is is you get the code from over here and you put it in over here when you're creating this username. Okay, I have all this nicely detailed on a handout that I'm going to cover in another video, okay, because it would just make this too long. But just be aware of that, that there's going to be a little bit of a two-step process there. Now, here's the great thing. Remember I said your book is inside of my IT lab. So you may be saying, well, then why do I have to register for my ebook through Brightwave Redshelf? Well, Brightwave Redshelf will allow you to download the ebook to like an app, you know, that type of thing. But for our ebook, our ebook is incredibly interactive and it really supports you in this class, even if you were in the classroom, but even in the, in the online environment, it is fantastic. So there, you know, there's videos embedded in it, there's interactive things that you can click. And so um, you can certainly download that ebook to the app. And if you like that, uh, that's fantastic. But it's going to be available to you inside of My IT Lab. So you're going to find that My IT Lab has your assignments. They're integrated with the ebook. You'll have the ebook inside of there. You'll have quizzes inside of there. So the two websites that you're really going to use are going to be Pause and MyITLab.com. Okay, those are going to be the two. Two if, again, you have to go through this Brightwave Red Shelf registration process just to get that code so that you can get your My IT Lab set up. All right. Okay, let's go back to the syllabus, and again, more on that later, so just wanted to introduce that. Let's scroll down a little bit further. How do your points, you know, fall out? Well, you know you got to earn throughout the semester more than 585 points to get that A. You're going to be able to do that. We're going to talk about all the great benefits. That's the purpose of going through this syllabus. How do I calculate my grade? Pause does a lot of this for you, but you may just want to understand how is your grade calculated. So here it's laid out and then even an example. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit further. And here is the last thing we said we were going to talk about, this detailed explanation of assignments. Now, I'm not going to go through every part of this, but I do want to go ahead and emphasize a couple things. Um, first of all, the instructions in this course are really uh, predicated or based on Office 2019, that software, installed on the Windows 10 operating system. I know Windows 11 has come out. Um, actually, my husband just got a new computer that has Windows 11, so I've been looking at that. And we're, as a college, looking at going to that uh, in the fall semester. But for right now, uh, we're focused on Windows 10. Okay, so be aware of that. Um, you say, well, what if I have a, a Macintosh computer? Uh, there are the simulators that you're going to do, again, are, are based on the Windows operating system, but there is a virtual keyboard in the simulators. And so you can just open that virtual keyboard if you need to do Control or Alt or Windows key, okay, that you would not have on the Mac. On the greater projects, there are alternative instructions, okay? Now, what if you have a Chromebook? It's a problem. 
What you want to do is you want to contact the college and you want to um, see if you can instead get a laptop. Southwest has, and it's not just for people with, lap, for, with Chromebooks. If you need a laptop to do your work, okay, for, for not just this class, but for any of your classes, but it's going to be really important for this class. If you need a laptop, you log into My Southwest, you're going to see an icon there for the laptop loan program, and you want to take just a minute and fill out that form so that you can borrow one for the semester. And it will have the Windows operating system. It will have Office 2019. Now, let me address one other question. You see in the syllabus, hopefully you can see that this is a hyperlink, right? Well, um, I'm going to open up another website real quick. Let me just do this real quick. So here's our Southwest website. And uh, I'm going to go to a new tab. And I'm going to type portal. Dot Microsoft, and you can see for me, I've typed it so many times it comes up. Okay, so up here in this bar, I'm typing exactly portal.microsoftonline.com. And I would log in, and I'm going to do this with my complete Southwest username. So, in other words, your username at southwest.tn. Dot edu. Hang on just one minute. When you log in to this website, along the top here, you see this button that says Install Office. What you can do is you can install Microsoft Office 2019 on your Windows or Macintosh computer. It will detect which one it is and it will install the appropriate version. So if you don't have Office 2019, you install it on your computer. Now I'm going to give you a caution. You may notice that over here there are little icons for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. This is not the same. This is a web-based or kind of a browser-based version of the software, and it's not as powerful. So you won't be able to complete, you'll be able to do a few things, but you won't be able to uh, complete all of your assignments. So in a nutshell, I'm going to go back to our syllabus. That's what I'm explaining in this paragraph, that the instructions in this course are based on the Office 2019 uh, Microsoft Office software installed on a Windows 10 operating system. While students may, may be able to interpret some instructions for a Mac laptop or other versions of the software. So I do know that a lot of students will say, yeah, I'm not going to upgrade. I'm just going to use, I have an older version and I'm just going to use it. Um, okay that does put the responsibility on you. Uh, will you be able to complete all steps of the assignment? Um, for some chapters, yes. Not for all of them. There will be some steps that are new, specifically to the 2019 version of the software. What I would recommend to you is that you can visit uh, the campus use a computer that has this software installed to make sure that you can complete the steps when you cannot make that uh, translation on the instructions, okay? Or if it's just simply not available on your version. Um, also, in terms of links, you see I have a link right here in this document to that Southwest Laptop Loan Program. Click that link, read about this benefit that is available to you. Remember that website I went to where I said you can install the Microsoft software on your computer? Here is that website. So you have that. You thought the syllabus was just going to be some old boring document, didn't you? And look at all these freebies and stuff that you're finding out about. And I hope it helps you. It supports you. That's the, the most important thing, right? Um, if you need to use a computer that's on campus, you may be wondering, where do I go? How do I find out? Uh, this is also a hyperlink, so you can pull that up and look at that. All right, now let's get down to business. Let's just recap. We are about on page three. And this is the detailed explanation of assignments. Now, what about those pause quizzes? This is going to tell you a little bit more about those, right? What about that pause discussion? You can read a little bit more about that. What about creating my, I, the My IT Lab username? Well, again, more information about that. Now, what about the due dates? Those are going to be in your 
class schedule, a very important document is your class schedule. I'm going to review that with you in a separate video. Here's what I really want to show you. As you then proceed into chapter one, you're going to, you may have some questions about, let's say, the quizzes. Did you know, for example, that for the quizzes, you get three attempts? Well, how is that scored? You know, if I take it three times, am I penalized for that? Look at this. Only your highest grade is recorded. Now, I'm just skimming this, and I think you may want to, as you begin these assignments, you might want to take a little time, you know, almost read it like the assignment instructions, okay? Um, questions, how many questions? There's 10 multiple choice questions. Is there a time limit for those 10 questions? 30 minutes, which I think you'll find plenty. Um, can you use your ebook during this? Absolutely, as we do in the real world when we don't know how to do something that our boss asks us to do. We might Google it. We might open a book and try to figure that out, right? Plan your time. Plan your time for that. Um, what about, you know, due dates and late work? So you definitely want to read about that, especially if you, if you do miss an assignment. Um, what about those simulations? You know, what did, when you say simulator, what are you talking about? Well, here's a detailed explanation, and I really, really, really encourage you to read this about the learning aids, because if you don't know how to do something, this My IT Lab software is going to basically reach through that screen and hold your hand. It doesn't reach through the screen, but it, it does guide you. It, it's going to put like a little dashed line and say, click, click this right here. Type this. That's what these learning aids are. So you want to read this so you know how to turn that on. Um, how many attempts? Well, for these simulators, you have unlimited attempts before the due date. They do have a due date. Okay, but what about the things that's asking me to do? Well, per task, I have 10 attempts, but on the overall assignment, unlimited. How, you know, how much time? Two hours? Look at all this. Only the highest grade, so with all those attempts, only the highest. You know, oh, Look at this, some cautionary notes. You want to go through and read this. A video that's going to help you even better understand the simulations, for example, in uh, my IT lab. Tell you what I tell students about this. <clears throat> I routinely get emails from students that say, um, I, I don't know how to activate the learning aids. I, I never knew. I, you, I, I've, I don't know. It's because you're not watching the video. And, and here's what I'm going to say. It's um, a friend of mine's mother used to say, a stitch in time saves nine. And what it means is that if you take the time uh, to kind of do something right initially, it saves you time in the long run. If you invest, I think it's less than five minutes, like maybe four minutes in that video, you'll save time, you'll save frustration. Okay, now this video is getting long, so let me wrap up. You see all these details. I really encourage you to read this about chapter graders because they're graded on a pass-fail basis. And if you don't get that minimum score, you're going to get zero points, and you don't want that. So make sure that you are reading this information so that you pass, right? This is very important, but all you got to do is meet that minimum score, and then you're going to get full points. I mean, that's awesome, right? But, I mean, this is some important information that you need to know with these graders, Right. What about the capstones? Look at that. The capstone has two parts. A lot of students will skip that second part, which is a really big mistake because you lose the points for that. So read through so that you maximize your points, you maximize your benefits on you know, this pass fail and on uh, using all your attempts and understanding that you're not penalized for those attempts. So I'm scrolling down through here just to give you an idea of things that are covered. The SLO test, uh, what about participation? You know, we talked about the attendance quizzes earlier on. Uh, so anyway, so you can kind of see um, you know, again, Chromebooks will not work. Make sure you're taking advantage of that laptop loan program. So I'm going to just, I uh, don't want to make you dizzy, but I am going to scroll up to the top again, um, just so that you remember that um, uh, you've already got your book and, you know, your overall points, but you need to focus initially um, on making sure that you're ready to begin the semester. Okay, so thank you very much. Look forward to a great semester.